I serve breakfast at the soup kitchen and you know you sit down and eat breakfast with some of these people and and you can't help but try to look at their situation through the lens of economics and what you know what could an economist do to help help their situation could you give us your definition of economics sure i think uh, economics is about the kind of optimal allocation of scarce resources um so at a societal level it's you know maximizing social welfare across the resources we have as a nation but at the personal level it's just making the most with what you have if you could teach everyone one thing about economics, what would it be? I think uh, thinking carefully about the costs of different actions. So as economists, we talk about opportunity costs, we talk about sunk costs, and I think these get ignored a lot. So recently I had tickets to a play here at BYU, uh, and at the last minute a better opportunity came up for free. And so I told my wife we should go to that other opportunity. And my wife's sister said, that's crazy, you've already paid for those other tickets. And it was kind of hard to explain to my sister-in-law that, you know, that's a sunk cost. I've already paid for the tickets. It doesn't change my decision. And the best way I could explain it to her is if, if someone gave me free YouTube tickets right now, would that make the decision easier? And see, oh yeah, that's a no-brainer. And so I think most people can make can ignore sunk costs when it's big enough difference, but we should actually ignore sunk costs on every little thing. And, and then the other fun one was I was driving with my dad and there was a toll road in California and it would probably save us 45 minutes, but it would cost $3. My dad has some kind of like specific aversion to pain to, to drive on a road and I had to explain to him that our, you know, our time is worth, you know, a lot more than three dollars and we should, we should uh, pay the toll. Yeah, not to mention the gas of 45 The gas, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. I, I think we only see the, the cost we pay and we, we ignore all the costs that, uh, that happen in the background. What made you want to study economics? Yeah, so I started out as a chemical engineer. Uh, oh. I mean, I grew up in Hillsboro, Oregon, right near Intel. So, I mean, this kind of engineering mindset was really a big part of my upbringing. Uh, I always wanted to be an inventor, you know, someone that kind of like creates new things. I wanted to have an idea factory where I could come up with ideas and then have like my minions, you know, administer all the, the ideas I had. And uh, so that was kind of my mindset. I wanted to be an engineer, an inventor. And then I discovered economics and I realized that actually some of the most important inventions that we need are actually institutional investment uh, inventions like new ways of thinking about the world new ideas that can actually change the way people behave um, change the way the rules work uh, change the way incentives are set up uh, and so I fell in love with economics uh, right right from the principles and um, then you know took intermediate micro and I wanted to be a professor do you just see everything through the lens of economics yeah I mean uh, so I, I, I served breakfast at the soup kitchen and you know you sit down and eat breakfast with some of these people and and you can't help but try to look at their situation through the lens of economics and what you know what could an economist do to help help their situation uh you know i, I used to ride the bus again you'd see little economic lessons kind of popping up in every little conversation i learned a lot about child support payments and you know parole and what happens when you get a di DUI. i mean so like you you kind of start to think about wow these are interesting constraints people have to uh, follow in life and uh, they were given a very different set of kind of uh, skills with which to cope with these, cope with life. And so the question is, how do you, you know, structure an economic system that accommodates uh, people who maybe don't have as much self-control as others or people who, you know, maybe weren't given the best upbringing? Um, I, I guess what you want is you want to design a, it makes you start to think about how to design a system that gives everyone a fair shake. Well, I, one thing we just finished, uh, this project where we were incentivizing kids to eat their vegetables and I, I think the reason I'm really excited about this project is there's this almost visceral reaction on the part of parents that bribery is, is evil 